So before I talk about Zanus, I'm going to mention this briefly. Remember, when I was born, I guarantee you guys, you guys thought, okay, if Ivan's God, if Ivan and Reacher are God, they must have set this, they must have set this whole thing up before they even came here. Yeah. And the moment you started making all your decisions, you know what I'm saying? It finally hit your mind. Holy shit, Ivan did set this whole thing up. Yeah. Okay, let's separate Ivan and VJ. If we separate Ivan and VJ, we're not going to get the Ivan and VJ with William Beauty. <laughs> yeah. I set the whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? If we touch VJ, we're gonna, the VJ we're going to get the VJ who's garbage. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, made, I, I, made, I gave you that one. Look, guys, if you want to touch my wife, you're going to get the VJ who's garbage. Who's trash, man. Who's trash leftovers. Yeah. So trash, you have to put the fan on when you access the VJ because VJ's garbage. That's the VJ you're going to get. Obviously, the Ivan you're gonna get the Ivan who's fat and the Ivan who does not have his full grown beard. As I guarantee me having sex with Vijay triggers my full my my beard growth. Because Vijay's blue, she's my spirit. Something something happens to my body. I get the glowing beauty, I get the glowing skin, the glowing eyes, and, I, and my beard starts rapidly growing. I get this big beard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you wanna lock all the words in Ivan, the Ivan you're gonna get on YouTube is a bum Ivan on, on, on a Sabrell's channel. Yeah, man. I said the whole thing before I came here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if we, you know what I'm saying, if, if we want to, if we want to see Ivan Vijay have sex, we're going to get ripped off. Yeah, I gave you the warning. Obviously. When Ivan comes back from death and he's king, obviously, him and Vijay will be living forever in the world, because they're God, obviously, and we're all going to be left behind, abandoned by God, and we're going to what? We're going to what? We're, we're, gonna, we're all going to die in a couple of decades from now. In 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, guys, all you guys will not be alive. You're going to be dead. And me and Vijay are going to continue to live on forever in the world. As you guys knew, yeah, yeah, either way, Ivan, yeah, Ivan, Ivan set this whole thing up. Uh, if, even if we do this, Ivan, Vijay, Ivan will end up winning the game. Yes. If you do this evil to me, I'm still going to end up winning the game. All you men, all you assholes in Hollywood who touch my wife, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you brag behind the scenes, oh, I fucked my glory. But trust me, once I'm king and you're left behind, you're bad for my glory, you're all going to cry tears. You're, you're going to feel a bad my God. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna wish you could take him back. Ivan, v, Ivan, please forgive me. I'm sorry. You know, it's too late. You, you, you chose to touch my wife and fuck her and cause that mess in my life. Hence, when I'm king, you're, you're also paying a price. You're a banner for my glory. He's in there. In the Bible, in the end, when you read the end of the book, obviously, Revelations, Jesus wins against Satan. He wins the war against Satan. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up winning the game. You guys are not going to win the game. No, I'm going to end up winning the game. As if I made Vils for you on my Sabbath channel, you guys would win the game. I would not. I'll, me and Vijay would lose the game if we made Vils for you on my Sabbath channel. Because you guys will get your full, full cake, obviously. Yeah, we cause that fucked up mess in Ivan's life. We, we act like Ivan watches himself and Ivan makes videos for us and we're saved. And you know what I'm You guys thought you could get your full cake, but you guys do. Yeah, Ivan will, will never let us do something like that. Yeah. I gave her the warning. Look, if you do, if you make me pay to leave my wife, I'm also going to make you pay when I'm king. You're going to be left behind and bound by God when I'm king. You're not going to be saved. And you guys are going to cry tears, guys. Because you're looking at the whole world going crazy about my book and my movie, man. You're looking at international fame. Fame like you've never experienced before. Yeah, you're going to be a bad my god. See what I'm saying, You're going to be a bad my god, guys. Looking at, you're looking at the whole world tuning in. It's for my fame. That's why even guys like Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson and all the Zanus actors and all them and the Seventeen, they're all going to sincerely bang their asses off for being able to be signed because they were saved by God, man. The experience, no act, every actor's ultimate dream is to, to experience the fame and success with God, with the two gods, and be a movie, be, be, be their co star in a, in a movie and experience that fame with them is an amazing feeling, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to be saved by God, but it's another thing to be saved by God and experience that, be a movie star, and be, be a movie star in his movie, man. Being an Ivan movie, be a movie star, be a part of that buzz with Eric Tet, the devil himself, he feasts the king bad of the mountains. You know when you watch movies, it's only, you know when you watch movies, you know, I remember when I watched Lord of the Rings, like, last week. I watched Lord of the Rings, I watched Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers, and I saw Aragorn kicking ass, I saw Elijah Wood and all them. Holy shit, they must be cool to be, they must have had a blast being, being a part of that buzz for Lord of the Rings, being a movie star. Yeah, it's a good, being a movie star is the best feeling in the world, man. You know but, be, but being a movie star in what? When you're acting the movie with God, with the two gods, is, is an even better feeling. It's an amazing feeling. To be a movie star, to, to be a movie star with God, you know what I'm saying? Getting paid your free millions, getting paid your striking your rich with your millions, experience that buzz with God, going on that world tour with him is an amazing feeling, man. That's why those actors are going to beg. 
Because they know in Hollywood their, 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 their careers are... I've been my career fools meaningless without you, man. Some of them might even say, I've been my career fools meaningless without you. If I go back to Hollywood, yeah, I'm famous. But man, like, like my movies are all the side tension. Only like 15 million people, 20 million people are tuning into my movies. And the whole fucking planet's tuning into your movie. Man, we're going to feel like shit. Yeah. As fame without God feels worth as meaningless. Once I am king, it is the end of the world pretty much, man. It's the, it is the end. It is the end. That's why the, that, that's where God in the Bible how they, they call it the end times. Yes. The, when, when me and Vijay are king and queen, it is the end. It's the end of the world pretty much, man. All these businesses are going to feel like shit. They're all going to have to charge more for all their, all their products. Because they can't compete with my company, obviously. It's a monopoly, obviously. And all these Hollywood CEOs and execs, obviously, are going to have to charge more for their tickets. For the movies if they want to make their profit, obviously. Netflix, the Netflix price will go up once I'm king. Netflix now is like 17 bucks around, or 15 to 16, 17 bucks. The price is going to go up to like 20, 21 dollars when I'm king, man. You see what I'm saying, huh? The Disney Plus subscription will go up too. Because the moment I release my documentary, my movie, me, me and Vijay are now the main show, and you guys are going to be watching my movies like every week, man. That's all these movies on Disney Plus and all stuff are all the side attention. The reason why it's side tension because all these don't hate me guys, all these Hollywood celebrities, you know what I'm saying, they're all normal on the screen. They're not unique like me and Vijay, you see what I'm saying here? Yeah? Ivan and Vijay have a unique presence on the screen, hence why you're gonna be watching my movies every week, man. Because me and Vijay have a unique presence on the screen. Whereas all these other people on, on YouTube are all normal. On uh sorry, all these people on Disney Plus, the movies getting released at the theaters, Netflix are all normal on the screen. You guys will watch their movies, obviously, but their, their, their movies are side tension. Okay, I don't know. I'll watch this movie, you know what I'm saying? After that, I'm going to rewatch. I, I'm going to watch Ivan's documentary, you know what I'm saying? Again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, me and Vijay are the main shows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Once I and Vijay King Queen is the end, it is a monopoly. That's all the money is going towards me and Vijay Sky Source Company, man. That's why all these, all these what? Um, what Sky, me and VJ Skyscraper's company will revolutionize the, the entertainment industry, as you're gonna see all these prices, all the prices soar, the ticket prices are gonna soar. Ticket prices nowadays, on average, are about eleven bucks, ten, eleven bucks on average, right? Once I am king, the ticket prices are gonna soar to probably about fourteen bucks around there. If Hollywood companies want to make the profits; they're gonna raise the price, man, to fourteen bucks, maybe. They're not going to raise it to like 17 That's crazy. But they're going to raise it to at least like 13 50 14 bucks. They're going to raise it by a couple bucks, man. Like $14 for a standard admission. And then the 3D, the 3D is going to soar to like 18 bucks, man, for 3D. Whereas 3D right now is like 14 bucks. Standard ticket prices is like, standard tickets is like, is like 11 bucks, about 11 bucks. But once I am king, I start to the prices are going to soar to probably $14 most likely. For the standard tickets. And the 3D will probably be like $17. Which people will still pay obviously. It's still cheap obviously right. But these Hollywood companies want to make their, their profits. They have to charge more money. That's why all these CEOs and executives. Like guys like Bob Chapek. David Zasloff. Whatever his name is. And Sarnoff. Walter Hamada. Kevin Feige. They're all going to feel like shit. Because their movies are all the side tension now. You see what I'm saying? They're still going to make their money. The Marvel movies will still make their $1 billion, obviously. As long as they charge their, like, $14, they'll still make their billion dollars. They just have to charge a bit more now because their movies are now the side tension. They'll still make their billion dollars, but even if they make their billion dollars or $800, $500, million, they're still going to feel like shit because their movies are side tension. You see what I'm saying? You're going to see Kevin Feige like, oh, man, I wish I could work for Ivan. Fuck, man. It's a shitty feeling when I'm promoting my fucking movie and Ivan's filming his Zanus movie. And the whole world's tuning into that Zanus movie, man. Like, you feel like total shit, man. Yeah, it feels like as if no one cares about your movies, man. Yeah, man. It feels as if no one cares about your movies. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying, here? It feels as if no one cares about your movies. I remember when I saw the Lord of the Rings documentary. I remember when I saw it, obviously. I remember I saw the, uh, the fans... The red carpet for like Fellowship of the Ring, Return of the King. I remember I, you saw that the whole thing was packed. It was, I don't know, like 40,000 people there. It was crazy. 30,000 people, 20,000 fans. It was crazy. You see Peter Jackson getting out of the limo. Well, think of fame crazier than that for my red carpet. Something like two, three. The whole city will be cheering me, me and Peter Jackson, all the Mon men. You see what I'm saying? Huh? 
My red carpet will be more simple than Hollywood because there's not, there's not going to be any media from my red carpet because it's wide behind the scenes. My company is a private company, whereas Hollywood's a public company. My company is a private company, hence why my red carpet pictures, you're only going to see them on my website featured on my website and, 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 and the trending pictures with the fans, taking pictures with their phones. That's the only connection you're going to get to my red carpet pictures because it's a private company, obviously. Whereas in Hollywood, the red carpet pictures get featured on magazines, they get featured on the news, they get featured on Twitter, they get featured on, 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 on everywhere. Because Hollywood's a public company, you have a lot of paparazzi for the red carpet. Whereas the only paparazzi you're going to have for my company is the what? Is the, uh, is the what? Is the uh, is the what is a doc team? That's it. The doc team will film film interview the actors and then they film. Them. That's it. It's, it's more simple, but you're looking at crazier fans. It will be just as professional as my my red carpet would just will be just as professional as a Hollywood red carpet, but it's a li it's a bit more simple because 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 there's no media there. There's no there's no paparazzi there. The only paparazzi you're gonna get are the fans with the phones. That's the paparazzi. The paparazzi are the fans, pretty much, right? They're gonna take a bunch of pictures on stuff. See what I'm saying? But my red car will be better than even Hollywood because you're looking at even crazier fame and buzz for the fans than even what you get for Hollywood. And I'm doing my red carpet at a luxury hotel. Whereas Hollywood, they don't do red carpets at a luxury hotel. They do it in some, like, some, 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 I don't know, some area in the city or something like that. Whereas me, I'm having it featured at the, at the, at the, at the, at the hotel, at the Bergenstock Hotel. A nice luxury hotel. I might have it featured inside. You have fans inside, and the photographers take the pictures inside, obviously. And that's where me, 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 me and VJ and all the actors and directors get featured. And you have like the red carpet leads outside, and we walk, we walk the red carpet, and we can sign, we can sign all the autographs with the fans outside. You know what I'm saying, you can do something like that. We'll see what happens. I don't, I don't know what I want to happen for the red carpet. We're looking at an unheard of red carpet, obviously. And Hollywood, they do Hollywood, they do what? In Hollywood, they do what? In Hollywood, sometimes they do multiple red carpets. They do red carpets in different cities sometimes. Whereas me, I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to do one red carpet and that's it. I'm not going to do a bunch of red carpets in a bunch of cities. No, I think it costs me a lot of money. One red carpet is enough, obviously. And, 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 and that. In, Hollywood, they usually, in Hollywood, they usually do one red carpet, obviously. But sometimes they do multiple red carpets. Sometimes they have red carpets featured in different cities on stuff. Whereas me, I'm just going to have one and that's it. One red carpet after post production is finished. A nice red carpet, obviously. And you have a two-day luxury... A crazy party for two days, man. Inside and out, DJs, you know what I'm saying? The crewmen and all the actors and directors partying it up inside and out in a luxury hotel. We got DJs, everyone's having a blast. Yeah, man, something crazy. That's something amazing. Yeah, man. That's why Peter and Molotor and all those actors are going to beg, man. Because they'd rather work for me than working. Oh, yeah, your company's burning all over. Yeah, but I'm not hiring the same people from my Grace King movie. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm not hiring the same people for my Grace King movie. As in, those people are not good for my Grace King movie. Once you're in my movie, that's it. I'm not resigning you. That's 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 the rule. But VJ, we're, we have to be strict with these directors and actors. Once they're in our movie, that is it. I'm not, we're not resigning them for the next movie. As they're not good for the next movie. Assume Sarah. Even though Peter Jackson's a talented director, he's one of the best. He was per for Zayas, but he's not good for the Grayscape movie. Assume Sarah. When Amor the Toro is not good for the Grayscape movie. And what? And the actors for Zayas, none of them are good for the Grayscape movie. I can picture, I can picture Idris Alba, obviously. He's good, obviously. He's good for the movie, obviously. And Digimon 2, I can picture him as a secret agent, too. But, like, none of those actors for Zanus are good for the Gracie movie, except for I just Alba. I told you, I'm not resigning the same actors. Once so I just Alba, once... Okay, you got your nice check. You got your nice royalty check, obviously. I was nice enough to save you for this movie on for I just Alba. You're not good for the Gracie movie. Ivan, man, can you resign, man? I want to be saved, man. I want to be in that secret agent movie, Ivan. I'm like, I just Alba, you're not good for the... Ivan, I just Alba, you need to be... You need to be... You need. You can't be selfish. You need to give other actors in Hollywood an opportunity. It's not just about you, man. I was nice enough to save your ass for Zanus. You experienced that fate with me, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know you want to be saved, my company's burn hall, but I was nice enough to save you for Zanus. That's it. The journey ends. I'm moving on into me and he's gonna move on into our careers. Don't hate us. For the Grey Escape Secret Agent movie. And you can move on into your life. And you're gonna you're gonna go back to Hollywood being left behind, being inside attention. And being a part of that cheaper budget, you see what I'm saying? That's why they're all gonna really, really beg, man. But I told you, none of them are good for the Grey Escape movie. 
None of them are good for the Grayscape movie. So I'm saying, huh? None of them are good for the Grayscape movie. You see what I'm saying, huh? None of the actors for Zanes are good for the Grayscape movie. I'm going to keep saying that. None of the actors are good for the Grayscape movie. None of the directors are good for the Grayscape movie. Once you're in my movie, that is it. I'm not resigning you. I know you. I know these actors are going to beg because they were saved, obviously, but I told you I'm not going to resign you, man. You're, you, were, you were good for Zanes. You're not good for the Grayscape movie. You're going to be successful in Hollywood. I launched your career. You're welcome, obviously. Pretty successful, very successful. I told you, even though they're going to be very successful, you know what I'm saying, or, or pretty successful, they're still going to feel like shit. Because the movies are a side tension. Only like 15 million, 10, 20 million are tuning into their movies. They do some big ensemble, 40 million tune into their movie. And they do like 800 million, 900 million dollars, a billion dollars for the movie. Even then, they're sort of like shit. Because their movies are small compared to my Grace King movies, you know what I'm saying? You know, Ivan's movie is much bigger than our fucking movies. Even if our movie does a billion dollars, it's still small compared to Ivan's Grace King movie. Yeah, my Grace King movie is going to gross billions. Tens of billions. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Anyways, let me talk about Zanus. I love talking about Zanus. I guarantee Peter Jackson will give some a live, and I love when we talk about Zanus. Yes. So for my Zayas movie, I'm going to hire either Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson to direct my movie, obviously. They're going to be, they're, they're going to be competing for the, the, for the co-executive, for the, for the what? For the executive producing job, obviously. The co-writing job and the directing job. And I'll have them be the boss of my movie. I will give Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson full power for my movie. I'll give them full power for my movie, obviously. And I'll give them an unlimited budget. A $980 million budget for my movie. So for $10 million towards salaries, paying all the Lord of the Rings crewmen, all the actors, their salary, obviously, paying all the supervisors and the crewmen their salary, you know what I'm saying? My seven teams, their salary too, obviously. Whereas Peter Jackson, Mel Gibson, I'll pay them their salary out of my pocket. I can't afford to pay them through the budget, otherwise they're going to affect my budget. I'll pay them out of my pocket. So I'm nice enough, Peter or Mel Gibson, to pay, to take, I don't know, $85 million, $56 million out of my pocket to pay you your salary. So Peter's $85 million is like $105, 6 million dollars in New Zealand money. That's a good paycheck for him. $100 million for Peter Jackson. And you, I'll give him 0.6% of, of, of the profits, which is millions of, uh, tens of millions in his bank. And I'll give Mel Gibson $56 million and 0.5% of the profits. And they get their $2,000 gift card, their third dollars gas card, and they get the perks. The commercial money, the parties of my yacht, my condo, the world tour... The experience of Sky is working in my nice studio office, doing the concert arts in my nice studio, uh, special effects unit building. Yeah, man. I'm going to have a nice building, a nice special effect, a nice concert art room. Yeah, man. Was I guarantee Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings, he probably, they probably, he probably was in some shitty building for the concert arts. Because Warner Bros. is cheap, isn't there? When he did pre-production, he was probably working in some shitty room, some not bad room. Was Ivan has his nice, like, suit, um, his nice building, his nice, uh, Special effects unit building. He has this nice concert art room where we do the concert arts. Yeah, man, something nice. I want to build a nice concert art room. Hey guys, I want you to build a concert. George, you think it'd be cool if I? Yeah, I think that's cool. I, I want a concert art room in, in my in, in my building, my building next door for for the special effects unit team. I want a concert art room in that building. That way we do the concert arts in that room. Something cool. And then. So for the south for the budget, I'm giving Peter nine eighty million dollars or Mel Gibson for the movie for ten million towards salaries, paying all the actors for Zanus or millions, and paying all the crewmen the rich one hundred thousand dollars and two hundred thousand dollars for the supervisors and my seventeen their yearly salary. Obviously, I'm putting ten million towards a documentary. That way, you get a good documentary. Obviously, I'm gonna put ten million of my own money towards a documentary. That's why you're looking at like an independent movie for my documentary. Something with special effects and slow motion. Something unheard of, yeah. Something better than what you got for Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, they probably only put like $50,000 towards that documentary. Whereas my movie, I'm putting $10 million bucks, Like a, a budget of an independent movie, man. Yeah, man. You're looking at an independent movie for my documentary. Something. You're looking at a revolutionary technology for my documentary, too. When you see the first trailer, see what I mean. You're looking at something unheard of. Slow motion, nice independent movie cameras. Nice cinematography, the independent movie cameras, a beautiful documentary, yeah, man. And I'll give Peter five sixty million up. I'm putting five sixty million towards the movie alone. 
Lord of the Rings, they put $280 million towards the movie, but that included salaries, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I am putting what? I am putting five, six million towards Zayn. That does not include salaries. That's why my company blows out of the water. Peter Jackson's like, hey, Ivan, how much money are you putting towards the movie? I don't know, Peter, nine, eight million. Holy shit, I have a lot of money. Okay, Peter, I'm going to put four, ten million dollars towards salaries to pay all the crewmen the rich $100,000. That way they work harder for us. That way they work harder for you, Peter. They work harder for us, obviously. And I'll pay the actors their millions. That way they work harder for you, for, 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 harder for, for you Peter. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have to worry about the crew and, and, and actors slacking off. They're going to work much harder for me. Yes. Money talks. You pay them for money, the harder they work, obviously. Pay my 17, they're really sorry to, obviously. And I'm putting $10 million towards the dock. And I'll pay all the cameramen their rich $380,000. I'll hire a good 15 cameramen. 12 to 15 cameramen I'll hire for my dock crew. 12 is enough. Hire, I'll hire a good 12 to 15 cameramen for my documentary crew. Obviously, I'll pay them all the rich three hundred eight thousand dollars. Easy for, but that's like that's like what? That's like four million on the budget. Obviously, and then the the rest of the budget will go towards what? Paying for their hotel. But the dog team, I'm gonna have them stay in cheaper hotels when they travel to all these places. Okay, I'm gonna tell my seventeen. Look, man, when you book the hotels for the dog team, have them stay in cheaper hotels. Have them stay in like five hundred dollar a night, six hundred dollar a night hotels. That's good enough for the dog crew. That way, you don't affect the budget. And you pay for their feeding through the budget, obviously. Obviously, yeah. And then the re the, the leftover money will, will be put towards special effects, obviously. Special effects. The ten million the ten million dollar budget will also go towards the adding the adding equipment for the documentary. Obviously, no. What I'll do is the special effects the special effects team unit building. I will have I'll have. It, it, it's it's meant for the movie, obviously. But I'm also gonna I'm gonna have a small room for the doc. I'm gonna have a small room with all the best editing room for the documentary for the doc for the for the editor to edit the documentary. You can do that. Yeah, I want you building an editing room for the movie and also a small little editing room for the documentary. That way, the editor can edit the documentary. You see what I'm saying? You can do that. Obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just saying yes. Yeah, so four ten million towards salaries to pay all the actors the rich millions, money that Hollywood does not even pay on average. Obviously, pay all the crewmen the rich one hundred fifty thousand dollars salary that would work hard for you. So I'm, I'm gonna pay all the Lord of the Rings crewmen who work Lord of the Rings, most of them anyways, because I'm, I'm I'm only hiring fifty hundred people. I'm gonna pay them a nice one hundred fifty thousand dollars. That way they work hard for me. They work harder for me, obviously, and they're happy. I'm gonna feed them with a nice luxurious buffet that would work hard for me. Give them once more parties. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to pay the actors or millions, and I'm going to give the small actors a small piece of the pie. A nice eight hundred, seven hundred thousand, a million, million five of the pie. The way they work harder for you. Guys like I just Alba, Andy Circus, DJ Mahansu, Don Chiel, they all work harder for you. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah. And I'm putting five sixty million towards the movie. That's what my company pulls all out of the water, man. Yeah, man. The Hobbit was made for six forty-five million, and that included salaries. And I am putting five sixty million towards the movie that does not include salaries. I thought my my company will be my movie will even blow the Hobbit out of the water, because the Hobbit was only made for six forty-five million dollars for the three movies, and I'm making things for nine eighty, almost a billion. It blows. It's gonna blow the Hobbit out of the water. The Hobbit. They, they probably only put like a hundred million towards the Hobbit for special effects. 80 million maybe towards the Hobbit for special effects around there. 70 million bucks they put towards the Hobbit. Whereas I'm putting 400 million towards special effects. Looking at, you're looking at an 8K world. Something even better than Avatar. I'm going to tell the special effects team, okay, look guys, I want the world, the world of the world to be something like Avatar and the mixture of Lord of the Rings except the world looks completely natural. It does not look computery and CGI like the Hobbit. I'm going to tell the special effects team, Hugh Jackson, Peter... Stay away from full CGI like you got for The Hobbit and the Rings of Power show that's coming out. I don't want that CGI computer look. No, I'm not a fan of that. Make the world look natural like the Lord of the Rings movies. I know what I'm doing. That way you get a better movie for Zanus. And make the wolves and bats look natural. The eagles and the crows and all of them, you can have them be full CGI. That's fine, obviously. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the wild stags, the wild ravens, the wild crows, the mosquitoes and jaguars, you can have all those beings be full CGI. But for the wolves and bats, I don't want them being full CGI. No, I want them being what? 
looking natural like the orcs in Lord of the Rings, except they're three times scarier. See what I'm saying, right? Trust me, I know what I'm doing, guys. I know what's best for my movie. I know what I'm doing. Stay away from full CGI for Zanes. Otherwise, the movie won't be as good. Stay away from full CGI, Eratat. Stay away from full CGI for the world building. I'm not a fan of building, I don't know, six trees for the forest and just have a blue screen. No. Build a nice 0.8 acre artificial forest, a fake forest, and you, you, you add the special effects towards that forest. That way your forest looks amazing. It looks real and natural, but the world looks amazing. The, the world will look very amazing, even better than Pandora, but it looked very, very natural. You know how Moria, you know how Fellowship of the Ring, the world looked amazing, but it looked very, very natural? Yeah, I think something like that. The world looks very, very amazing. Unheard of world building, obviously. It looks very amazing, because I poured so much money towards special effects, but it looks very natural. It doesn't look computer and CGI. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So the 560, this is how the 560 will be divided. I'll put $30 million... Towards sampling, that's more than enough. Thirty million dollars towards building the sets, all the sets, so all the lands like the north, the south, okay, Barak, Cyrus. I'll build a one acre city of, I'll build a one and a half acre city for Zanus, one and a half acre city for for Barak, zero point five acres for Cyrus. You see what I'm saying? Zero point five, zero point six seven acres for Cyrus, zero point eight acres for the forest of Galathia. Artificial trees, yeah. One acre for the mountain of Gilius in the south, the Cursed Mountains. You, you have them build a mountain, obviously. You remember that mountain, that artificial mountain? Yeah, a huge mountain. And they, 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 what? They build all the fake trees. That way, the, that way the world looks amazing. Yeah, man. Remember that picture I showed you in my purchasing the rice video? I showed you the picture on my laptop. You guys can see what I'm saying. Remember when I showed you that picture? Think of something like that for when they enter the ancient Gilius City for the Cursed Western Gilius Mountains. They cross, you have this path, you have the mountains, you have a waterfall, and you have like the mossy trees, you have the mosquitoes biting the people, and it leads to the ancient Gilead City. That's, I'm going to build a nice like one acre city for the ancient Gilead City. One acre is the size of a football stadium, guys. Huge. Build a huge city like that, and they build all these pillars. These pillars. I mean, when they apply the special effects towards the, the, the ancient Gilead City, it looks amazing. Better than even what you got from Moria. And that's why Peter Jackson be shocked. Holy shit, I this is on her. You're putting $30 million towards building all the sets. The Hobbit, they only spent a good, like, $9 million towards building all the sets around there. And I heard they built some pretty... In Hobbit, for the Hobbit, they built cheap sets. They relied heavily on green screen, obviously. But for my movie, I'm going to build unheard of sets. I'm putting $30 million towards building all the sets, guys. I'm going to tell the construction crew, look, man, I want you guys pimping out the sets fully, man. You know how for my IMAX cameras, I'm going to update I want you guys updating all the sets. Pimp it out fully. I'm going to tell John Farrell, for me, look, man. I want you guys blowing the entire thirty million dollar budget for the sets. Pimp it out fully, man. For all this, for get the best trees, the best dirt for the trees for the forests. The best building, the be, the best building material for building the mountains, the ancient Gilead city, Barak, Cyrus, Saphius. I'm gonna build a nice like one acre city of Saphius, man. You know what I'm saying? Like think something like Gondor or Min Minas Tirith. Gondor or Minas Tirith, right? Think something like that for Saphius, a nice like stone city. You know, you look at something I've heard of my movie, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Something crazy. So I'm going to put $30 million towards sets. $37 million towards... You need to put a lot of money towards the costumes and weapons because you're looking... If you want to afford to, to what? If you want to afford to what? To, to, to buy clothing for all the extras and all stuff. You need to put a lot of money, millions, tens of millions towards costumes. I'll put $37 million towards costumes, armor, and weapons. That should be enough. More than enough. <laughs> It's such a big budget, chances are I'll have a couple million left over in, 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 in the clothing budget. In the costumes, armor, and weapon budget, I might have maybe a good three, four million dollars over in the budget. Obviously, for, for the movie, because I have such a big budget. Yeah, man. Thirty-seven dollars is more than enough money to rent and buy all the costumes for all the extras. For all the 6,000 extras, easy affordable. Obviously, you can buy some nice top line medieval clothing for all the extras. Obviously, because for the actors, the clothing doesn't have to be that doesn't have to be the nicest clothing because they're background actors, right? But you have to have them wear some medieval clothing that way they blend in, they blend in in, in the culture and the style, obviously. Whereas the main actors the, 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 are very important. You have to design some nice clothing for the main for all the actors in the, for your movie because they're, 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 they're in all the the, 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 the the what they're in the main scenes, obviously when when the, when the lights are on. Whereas the actors, you don't have to have you, uh, you don't have to have them have the nicest medieval clothing. Have them just wear some nice, some nice medieval clothing. That way they blend in with the, with the style of the culture, obviously. 
With 3700 bucks, I can easily afford it. There's, I'm going to rent a couple machines for the mass. A good four or five machines. That way I could what? I could I could I can print the best I can I can print the best 3D print mass prosthetic mass for all the wolves and bats and the extras. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the people. Okay, how much? How, I'm gonna tell look man. I'm gonna be hard. You, I'm gonna look man. I'm, I'm 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 gonna need I'm gonna need you guys to what? Can you guys pull? Okay, c c c could if I rent five machines, is that enough to print a good like? Is that enough to print a good like twenty six thousand mass? 26,000 mass for the walls and bats. Oh, I mean, that's enough. Okay, how much mass? If I rent five, how much mass can you print every day? I don't know. I mean, we can print a couple hundred mass every day. A nice 400 masses every day. Okay. I want you hard at work printing all the thousands of masks. Um, that's why the people who are going to create the mask, I might have them start working on the mask the second year. So I'll have Weta Workshop, the clothing designers, and the people who are going to print the mask, obviously, start work the, sometime the second year. Halfway through the second year, I'll fly those guys in. Um, um, I'll fly. I might fly in the clothing designers and the what, the people for the mask the first year too. That way they can work on the mask the second year. That way you give them more time. With a construction crewman, you can have them start work the third year. Because one year is more than enough time to build all the sets. As long as you hire hundreds of construction crewmen, it's more than enough people. If I hire a good eight hundred construction crewmen, that's enough to build all those sets. Obviously, you see what I'm saying? It's more than enough. Yeah, man. Okay, Peter, I want to rent the best machineries for... I want to rent the best machines for creating the the, the devil uh, the devil 3D print mask. Yeah, I, 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 I know the best companies, and we call the best company in America. Hey, we want to we wanna, we wanna rent your machine, the best machines you have for you, for creating masks. Yeah, this is the best machine. Okay, we want to rent five of them. How much is it? I don't know. It's like $400. it will cost me a good $300,000 to rent it. I we can, we can have you rent it for good for three hundred thousand dollars. We can have you rent the five the five machines. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, if you rent five machines, Ivan, mean, you'll be able to pull off printing all the devil masks for all the for all the the, the main the main and minor animal characters, Ephesus, Eratan, and all them, as well as all the extras. We're gonna be what all the extras who so the extras are also gonna have they're also gonna be wearing the devil mask. You know what I'm That's why I might have what. I might, when the extras sign the contract, obviously, I might have, I'm going to put a warning, hey, you're going to be wearing a devil mask, are you okay with this? That way they know, obviously. I'm, I'm also going to have to have, like, one psychologist make sure some of those extras are okay. Hey, he has, like, this this speakerphone, hey, are you guys okay, how you doing? Yeah, we're fine. Because they're going to be wearing devil masks, man. Because I'm going to have the, I'm going to have them print masks for the extras, too. So what I'll do is, check my kind of here.